Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of a medication called lapiramide, commonly known by its brand name, Imodium. As with all our discussions, this is meant for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, always reach out to a medical professional. Description Lopiramide, recognized by its brand name Imodium, is an over-the-counter medication primarily used to control acute diarrhea, including traveler's diarrhea. It works by slowing down the movement of the gut, which decreases the number of bowel movements and makes the stool less watery. Lopiramide achieves this by acting on the opioid receptors in the intestines to reduce muscle contractions, thereby slowing intestinal movement and increasing the absorption of fluids and electrolytes from the gut. Imodium is also used to manage chronic diarrhea associated with conditions like inflammatory bowel disease. However, it is important to note that while lopiramide can help alleviate the symptoms of diarrhea, it does not address the underlying cause of the condition. Warnings While lopiramide is effective for managing diarrhea, it comes with important precautions. It should not be used if you have a known allergy to lopiramide or any of its ingredients. Additionally, it's not suitable for people with certain conditions, such as abdominal pain without diarrhea, acute dysentery, which includes blood in stools and high fever, acute ulcerative colitis, bacterial enterocolitis caused by invasive organisms including Salmonella, Shigella, and Campylobacter, or pseudomembranous colitis associated with the use of broad-spectrum antibiotics. Lopiramide should not be used in children under 2 years of age due to the risk of severe breathing problems and cardiac events. Furthermore, it should be used with caution in individuals with liver disease, as the drug is metabolized in the liver and impaired function could lead to increased levels in the blood. Before taking this medicine Before starting lopiramide, it's important to consider several factors. Inform your healthcare provider if you have a history of liver disease, AIDS, a prolonged QT interval, or any heart conditions. It's also crucial to mention if you are taking any other medications, as lopiramide can interact with certain drugs, including antibiotics, antifungals, antivirals, and medications for heart conditions. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should consult their healthcare provider before taking lopiramide, as the safety of the drug during pregnancy and lactation has not been fully established. Additionally, if you have a fever, mucus in your stool, or if your diarrhea lasts more than two days, you should seek medical advice before continuing with this medication. Side Effects Like all medications, lopiramide can have side effects. Common side effects include constipation, dizziness, and drowsiness. Less commonly, some individuals may experience abdominal pain, bloating, nausea, vomiting, dry mouth, or a skin rash. In rare cases, lopiramide can cause serious side effects, such as severe allergic reactions, including hives, difficulty breathing, and swelling of the face, lips, tongue, or throat, severe constipation, or toxic megacolon, a condition where the colon becomes extremely dilated. Another rare but serious side effect is a cardiac event, including QD prolongation, torsades to points, or other severe heart rhythm issues, especially if taken in higher doses than recommended. If you experience symptoms like a fast or irregular heartbeat, severe dizziness, or fainting, seek immediate medical attention. Interactions Lopiramide may interact with other medications, which can affect how it works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's crucial to inform your doctor about all the drugs you are taking, including over-the-counter medications, supplements, and herbal products. Notable interactions include certain antibiotics, like clarithromycin, antifungals, like ketoconazole, HIV medications, like ritonavir, and heart medications, like quinidine. Dosage Correct dosage is vital for the effectiveness of lopiramide. For acute diarrhea, the usual adult dose is an initial 4 mg, followed by 2 mg after each loose stool, not to exceed 16 mg per day. For chronic diarrhea, the dosage is adjusted according to the patient's needs and response, but should not exceed 16 mg per day. For children aged 6 to 12, the dose should be adjusted based on their weight and as directed by a healthcare provider. It's essential to follow your doctor's instructions and the guidelines on the package. Do not take more than the recommended dose, as high doses can lead to serious heart problems or death. Avoid While taking lopiramide, it's advisable to avoid alcohol, as it can exacerbate side effects like dizziness and drowsiness. Additionally, ensure you stay hydrated, especially if you have diarrhea, to prevent dehydration. Be cautious when driving or operating machinery until you know how lopiramide affects you, 
as it can cause drowsiness or dizziness. FAQ Many people wonder about the duration of lopiramide use. For acute diarrhea, if symptoms persist for more than 48 hours, you should stop taking lopiramide and consult a healthcare provider. For chronic diarrhea, long-term you should be under the supervision of a doctor. Closing That wraps up our overview of lopiramide. Remember, this information aims to educate and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for tuning in.